Isaiah chapter 33, Micah, 33rd book of the Bible. Woe, that seems to be a topic, last few chapters. Unto thee that spoilest, you take, you rob. Again, spoil has, has the, after war time. And when the battle's over, you go in there and you take from the dead bodies, you take from what's left behind. And thou has and thou was not spoiled. So you went out and spoiled, but no one ever spoiled you. And dealest treacherously. And they dwelt not treacherously with thee. And you're out there doing things that has not been done to you. When when thou shalt cease to spoil, when are you gonna stop? Thou shalt be spoiled. <laughs> Reap what you sow, and you get more. And when thou shalt make an end to deal treacherously, they shall deal treachery with thee. I mean, that's a Galatians 6, 7 in the Old Testament. God is giving you, and one of the biggest things you need to learn with that verse in, in Galatians 6, 7 in life, <clears throat> you better learn to forgive people. Because if you want God to forgive you, you got to forgive others. If you're not going to forgive, well, if I confess my sin, not forgiving others is a sin. Uh, tribulation. Oh, Lord, be gracious unto us. And they need a lot of grace in the tribulation period. We have waited for thee seven years. Be thou their arm, be thou their arm every morning. Every morning is going to be, you realize in tribulation period, every morning you wake up, you, you just don't know what's going to be next. Those animals running around with, with the scorpion tail, the, the seven seals, the seven trumpets, the seven vials, the three woes, and Moses and Elijah. If you don't read and study the Bible in the tribulation period, you what's going to happen today? Don't say in the tribulation period, it can't get worse. It will. Our salvation is also in thy... Yeah, let me try it again. Our salvation also in the time of trouble. And what do you think that time of trouble is? <laughs> I'm checking the passage over here. Well, if you read Daniel chapter 12, verse 1, that's the tribulation period. And it's called Jacob's trouble. At the noise of tumult, the people fled. At the lifting up of thyself, God, the nations will scatter. Lifting us up. God's getting up. We're headed to the second advent when God gets up. Think about that time when Stephen says, I see the Lord Jesus standing. If the nation of Israel had received the Lord Jesus Christ, when, when Stephen preached the history, things would have been a lot different. And when they murdered Stephen, Jesus sat back down and said, okay, but let the Gentiles roll in. You say that, let's say roughly, uh, let's just say Acts 40, a, a millennium. If they had received the Lord Jesus Christ at that point, we would be in the millennium right now today. Think about it. It's rebellion and rejection of Jesus the Messiah. We're in the church age. And your spoil shall be gathered like a gathering of a caterpillar. Caterpillars go e e e e. You ever, you ever see a caterpillar? This he's on a leaf, and then next thing you know, that that leaf is just gone. No mercy. I mean, many times growing up as a little boy, caterpillars were one of my things I kept in the glass. 
and we would put, throw leaves and we'd throw grass in there and it'd be gone. That one little caterpillar. As the running to and fro of locusts, shall they run upon them in this locust. Wherever there's food, here I am. Wherever there's food. Oh, there's John the Baptist back though. Get away from that guy. He eats us. The Lord is exalted. That's not true today. You realize how many people today are, what do you call it, protesting or not protesting and rising up and got signs and, and for Donald Trump? I think this is the second day of uh, uh, his impeachment. And there's crowds and crowds of people supporting him. I'm, I'm not on a political thing. I'm just saying. Let me ask you a question. How many people stood to the streets when the churches were closed? When were how many people went to the streets when one of them store those states up north where people were arrested for just singing hymns outside? Where was the people getting angry when a street preacher was told he's going to be arrested for preaching preaching on the street in Daytona Beach, Florida? And people keep saying to me all the time, oh Donald Trump, he's not a god. Yes, he is. The Lord is exalted. Not today. Because that Lord is Jesus Christ we're going to see in a moment. And he's not exalted among the Jehovah Witnesses. He's not exalted of the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church. Well, Jesus is a meaning. Go through Mary. Well, who has the power to make saints? The Pope and his cardinals. For he dwelleth on high. How high can he get higher than Jesus and God? Except for an empty throne. Or empty spot where there was a throne. <clears throat> he has filled Zion. Oh, Jerusalem. He filled with judgment and... Okay, go up to verse uh, 2. And then he comes. He got up. He got up. Verse 3. Judgment and righteousness. Jesus Christ comes back as a judge. And you're not going to have righteousness until Jesus judges. So one of the foolish things as a street preacher. And I know other uh, men in, in the ministry of evangelistic work. Judge not least you be judged. Well, you're not going to have any righteousness if we don't judge sin. You see, they want me to get up there. Jesus is lovely. Jesus is great. Jesus and God are love. And everybody's going to go to heaven. Everybody, God just love. And what about honoring thy mother and father? What about lying? What about stealing? Well, no. What about somebody who beats a dog? Well, yeah, you got to get rid of him. Whoa, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. All have sinned. So Jesus Christ has the judge. And when he comes to the second advent, he divides into two classes. Oh, the divider. I've even heard Baptist. Well, you don't divide. They're sheep and they're goats. The sheep help the nation of Israel and the goats don't help the nation of Israel. The goats go to hell and the sheep go into the millennium. How did Jesus get that? He had to judge. I'm a sinner. I'm a saved sinner. I have to judge myself. And I have to say, Lord God, I am not supposed to be doing that. And the other day, you know, there's just there's some thoughts in my, going through my head right now. My present day. I say, well, you know, Lord, what about Judah? I, I'll not be thinking about that because that, that's still, that's a sin. we got to judge ourselves. Jesus Christ is coming back as a judge. He may not judge that little baby in the manger. But he's come back as a lion tribe of Judah. And he judge. You know what lions do? They judge. That's the weakest one in the, in the herd. Hey, that's the elderly one in the herd. Hey, that one's injured. And the lions, when they get in their pack, or whatever you call it, when they see a bunch of water buffaloes, <laughs> that's some tasty meat, they look for the one that is weak. 
They don't go after the, the big beast and the, and the big daddy of the beast or the big mama. They go after the little baby one. They go after the weak one. They go after the great, great, great grandparent one. I know that's not how you describe it, but that's. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. The millennium is wisdom and knowledge. Oh, we got all kinds of knowledge today. We got knowledge how to kill. We got knowledge how to make illegal drugs, how to sell illegal drugs. We got knowledge of all kinds of filthiness. Not in the millennium. Not through Jesus Christ. And strength of salvation. Look at strength of salvation. And you don't lift weights. You don't run. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Proverbs 1.7. Behold, the valiant one shall cry without. They, you know, the ambassadors of peace shall weep bitterly. Why? Their peace didn't work. The valiant one, oh, we didn't do it. It's Jesus that did it. You know, a lot of religions are going to be upset when Jesus Christ comes. We didn't bring in the kingdom. No, you didn't. Matter of fact, most likely God, Jesus Christ, is going to put you down. You know, whole Catholic Church, you know why they went out their crusades and, 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 and fought Jerusalem and all that? So they could bring the kingdom in. You know what the Congregational Church did in New England? We're going to bring the kingdom in. That's why they went and killed Native American, early American history, so we can bring in the great new kingdom. By the way, America, with the Native Americans and everything that we've done in the history of America, those Native Americans and the African slaves, Galatians 6, 7. Don't you think that God's going to write off all the harsh treatment that happened to the Native Americans? Don't you think, God, okay, I'll just wipe it off because you're America. And put them in little communes, and we gave them liquor for little. And now the Indian population, I've heard from missionaries. What the lights flickering? Uh, Indian Indians are put on reservations, are intoxicated, are drunk, being taught by the government of the United States of America, the English, the Europeans. The highways lay waste. The wayfaring man see it. See this. He has broke uh, wayfaring man. There's gonna be no beggars inside the roads. He has broken the covenant. He has despised the cities. He regardeth no man. The earth mourneth and languish. Looking the lights. Lebanon is ashamed and hewed down. Lebanon is known for cedars. Sharon is like a wilderness. No life. No. Basha and Carmel shake off their fruits. I believe Carmel is olives and all that. 10, 11, 12, second advent. Now will I arise, God speaking, Jesus. Saith the Lord, capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D. Now, who's going to rise in, in, in verse in, in Revelation 19? Jesus Christ. Who's that Lord? Jesus Christ. That throws out the Jehovah Witnesses. They don't believe Jesus is, is God. Ask them. Get a Jehovah Witness who has some authority in their kingdom halls, not a brand new Jehovah. Get somebody who's in it and just say, listen, I, I just want to ask one question. I don't want to have any aggravation. Just one question. Is Jesus God? Is God Jesus? And they will just say, no, he's not. As much as a Roman Catholic, that, yes, that bread and that wine is the literal body and blood of Jesus Christ. So that's where the Jehovah Witnesses are wrong. I, now, I will be exalted again, not with, the, not with the Jehovah Witnesses. Now will I lift up myself. Getting up. Stephen said, I see Jesus standing. He shall conceive chaff. That's the waste. 
of the wheat. He shall bring forth stubble. That's that's one of the losses for the Christian. I'm just saying for us, for the Christian. So that's nothing. That's your breath. <laughs> I'll enter the breath. I laugh because I did a message about breath today. As fire shall devour you. Revelation 19, fire comes and the sword comes out. And the people shall be as burnings of lime, as thorns, again, another weed curse, cut up shall they be burned in the fire. Gee, I wonder what that fire is. Hell. Can you imagine burning, I don't know what degrees, past third degree burn, when Jesus Christ comes and you're in that flame of fire that comes out of you? All the goats, not the sheep. And then you get burned with the fire of the eyes of Jesus Christ, Revelation 19. And then you go off into hell. There is no relief of burning. Nothing going on with our lights. Hear ye that are far off. What have I done? <laughs> wow, yeah, what have you done? Ye are near. Acknowledge my might. Everyone everywhere. Be aware of Jesus. Go in all the world and preach the gospel. The sinners of Zion, that's Israel, Judah, are afraid. Fearfulness has surprised the hypocrites. <laughs> That's the second advent. So all the people that are in Jerusalem, the coming of Jesus Christ brings fear. And there are hypocrites proclaiming to be someone of God that are not. Who among us shall dwell with the devouring fire? That fire we just read about. Who among us shall dwell in everlasting burnings? There's hell. He that waketh, he that walketh righteously and speaketh uprightly, he that despises gain or oppressions, you know, you, you get money by oppressing others, that's a sin. That shaketh his hands from holdings of bribes, and stoppeth his ears from hearing the blood, and shutteth his eyes from seeing evil. Verse 15 the people were innocent doing right. He shall dwell on high. Verse 15. So see there's a judgment at the second advent of Jesus Christ. Those that are wicked and vile, they're burnt up. And those that have done right, verse 15 and 16. Notice the elements of work in verse 15. There is an element of salvation of faith and works, works and faith. In the tribulation period, not in the church age. I guarantee the devil will be preaching through the tribulation period. Uh, uh, faith alone. You don't need no works. Devil always gets people messed up. So what we have here is we have 11, 12, 13, and 14 are wicked and vile sinners. The enemies of God. Verse 15 and 16 are those that are correct and right. His place of defense shall be the munitions of the rocks. Jesus Christ is the rock. Bread shall be given him. You couldn't buy bread. Unless you have the mark. And there are some people that Jesus said, you fed me when I was, when I was hungry. And they're like, well, when do we feed you? When you did to my people. So feeding the Jew and taking care of the Jew, the, the reaping and sowing, well, in the millennium, I'll give you bread. I'll give you a place in the millennium. Because you gave a place and you fed my people. His waters shall be sure. Your waters are sure today. You got to pay for it. I don't think there's going to be any water bills in the millennium. 
I could be wrong about that. Second Advent. Thy eyes. Who? Actually, everybody. The saved and the lost. As far as the tribulation standard. Thy eyes shall see the king in his beauty. Now, it's not beauty to the lost. <laughs> But there is beauty in Jesus Christ. And Isaiah 53 says there's no beauty that we should desire. Who? Sinners. I'm a street preacher. And I know people properly go knock on doors. I know people who witness evangelistic. And when we bring them the biblical Jesus, that Jesus is not beautiful. That Jesus is an insult to them. How dare you judge me? But to the Christian, I can't shut up about Jesus. I love Jesus. I proclaim Jesus. They shall behold the land that is very far off. All right, for the lost man, very far off because you ain't never going to see it. For those that are right, well, get on, the, get on the train of Jesus and the church and the Jews, and we'll bring you in like, you know, Joshua had people who were non-Jewish when he brought them into the promised land. Rahab was not Jewish, and she was brought into the promised land. And her, it said her mother, her father, and any of her family. And there were Egyptians among them. Some Egyptians caused trouble, some didn't. Thy heart shall meditate terror. Where's the scribe? <laughs> He's gone. Where's the receiver? Where is he that counteth the towers? <laughs> Thou shalt not see a fierce people. Wicked bow, you know, people like the Assyrians, people like the Babylonians, there's torture is. You won't see no Nazis. The Jews won't see no Nazis. The Jews won't see the military clan of the Antichrist. A people of deep speech then thou canst perceive for a stammering tongue <coughs> excuse me thou canst not understand. Millennium. Look to Zion. That's where Jesus is. In the city of the Salmonides. That's the celebration. That's the feast. Thy eyes shall see Jerusalem. A quiet habitation. Hey, ain't quiet today. And I tell you one thing that's running around Jerusalem today. Is not of God. Sodomy. Gay and lesbian. Sexual perverts. And the celebration. That ain't going to happen in the millennium. A tabernacle that shall not be taken down. Oh, wait a minute, tabernacle? I thought your local Baptist church was a tabernacle. In the millennium, there'll be one true tabernacle. Like some preachers lift up their buildings as. Some preachers put their building, their church is the only one. And I'm not talking about Catholics either, even though they're the one universal church. There are Baptists out there, that their assembly, their bill, their, we're the ones. I mean, don't get up and say, isn't it great to be in the Lord's house? Lord, will you do a work in your Lord's house today? How about, Lord, of all the gatherings that Christians will gather to the, today all over the world, whatever gathering they are whether they be in a building or in the backyards or an underground play wherever they, how about lord you blessed and gathered of the, all the gatherings of the saints on the first day of the week why is it got to be just this house and you know welcome to the lord's house there is no lord's house today i'm the lord's house you're the lord's house. if you're in the body of christ you're the lord's house we got that old testament philosophy there's one building. <laughs> That's Old Testament. It got you under the law. And then they'll turn around. You know, you can't eat pork. <gasps> We're under the law. Then they run over to Malachi. Bring your tithes to the storehouse. 
Wait a minute. Malachi is what section of the, of your Bible? Jesus said the law was from, from, from the law and the prophets to John the Baptist. So until John the Baptist died, there was the law and prophets. Everyone open your, your Bibles to Matthew. We'll do it. John the Baptist was alive in Matthew. I get it right. That shall not be taken down. God's house will not be taken down. That shall not be taken down. Not one of the stakes thereof shall be removed. That's tent pegs. Neither shall any of the cords, ropes, thereof be broken. It's an everlasting foundation until the heavens and earth go away. But there, the glorious Lord, will be for us a place of broad rivers and streams. And that's talked about in the scriptures, and that's also talked about in New Jerusalem. Where it shall no galley with oars, that's a ship. You shall gallant ship pass it. Here's a body of water, and there's going to be no boats in it. Millennium. For the Lord is our judge. In the millennium. You imagine somebody walking up to Jesus. I get this picture. Judge not easy to be judged. <laughs> I'm the one that said that, lady. <laughs> lady, yeah. Mostly women will say, yeah, yeah, you can be yay. And I take my Bible and say, here, show me where it is. And read me verse 2. They walk off. The law is our lawgiver. What about Moses. That's the millennium. The law is in the millennium too. The Lord is our king. Oh, there's Jesus Christ, king of the Jews. Jesus Christ, king of kings. See that capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D? Mr. Jehovah Witness, is Jesus God? No, he's not God. Well, then you got something messed up there. Because above the head of God was king, it was the king of the Jews, written by Pilate. They said, well, right, that he said he was the king of the Jews. Pilate said, I've written what I've written. Pilate was convinced. But that man loved the praise of men than he did God. By tackling, that's ship words, are loose. They could not well str strengthen their mass, ships. They could not spread the sail. Then is the prey of great spoil divided. The lame take the prey. Lame? In some ways, weak in, in, in informities. He's out there gathering. <coughs> Read verse 1. Are you going to spoil? God says, I'll, you're going to get spoiled. There it is. Uh, there we go. The lame shall take the prey. The inhabitant shall not say, I am sick. No sickness. The people that dwell therein shall be forgiven their iniquity. And that's Israel. Looks like there's no sickness in the millennium. That's interesting. 